If you could describe Fairchild in one word, what would it be? Modern. Extraordinary. Fantastic. <laughs> Opportunistic. I would say Fairchild is very innovative. Special. Motivational. Different. An opportunity. Advanced. Preparation. Unique. 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 What makes Fairchild Wheeler so unique is the three different schools located on the campus. Students are able to choose between information technology, aerospace engineering, and zoological research based on their interests within these majors. Fairchild Wheeler not only offers opportunities to lead to a future of success, but the futuristic architecture of the school creates a comfortable learning environment. In these project-based learning institutions, students learn beyond the textbook and are able to grasp information in an innovative and exciting way. The mission of the School of Information Technology is to educate students in information technology in ways that lead to fulfilling careers and to create a culture for passionate investigators to develop solutions for the global community. The mission of the Aerospace, Hydrospace, Engineering, and Physical Science School is to educate the nation's future leaders in science and art of the physical sciences and aerospace engineering. We seek to expand the frontiers of engineering and science and encourage technological innovation while fostering an academic excellence and scholarly learning in a project-based learning environment. The mission of the School of Biotechnology, Research, and Zoological Sciences is to promote the discovery and learning at all levels of biological organizations such as molecule, cellular, organismal, population, community, and ecosystem. We thrive for excellence and synergy in our coordinated programs of teaching, research, and service, recognizing the essential roles of science and biology in the lives of citizens today and tomorrow. We emphasize biological literacy in our learning and outreach programs. My name is Luke Fatsy. I work for the Aerospace Hydrospace Engineering School here at Fairchild Wheeler. I've been here for going on my fifth year. I'm one of the veterans here. Uh, I teach uh, Introduction to Fluid Mechanics. I teach Biology to freshmen. I also teach the Early College Experience, the ECE Biology to, to juniors and seniors. Hi, I'm Mrs. Rivera and I teach English 12. I teach uh, Capstone and I also teach ECE English 12th grade. I'm Mr. Jackman and I teach capstone at Fairchild Wheeler in IT. My name is Peggy Roach and I teach currently pre-calculus and UConn ECE Calculus 1 and Calculus 2. Hi, my name is Michael Watson. I'm principal for biotech research and zoological sciences at Interdisciplinary School here at Fairchild Wheeler campus. Hello, my name is Matthew Klein and I'm a U.S. history teacher here at IT and I've been here, this is the start of my fifth year. Uh, I'm Ken Hohen. I am a history teacher here in the Aero School of Fairchild. I've been here um, four years, uh, and I'm also uh, ten years in the Bridgeport District. What is your favorite class to teach and why? I love teaching the EC Biology class for a couple reasons. Is it, it really is a course that gets students into the rigors of what college is like because it is an authentic college course that the students can take as juniors and seniors in high school uh, that can potentially pay off in earning them UConn or college credit. Uh, but what it really does is it stresses these college readiness skills that we try to emphasize here at Fairchild Wheeler. And I, I think it's a really good thing to send students off after having taken courses like that. Well, my favorite subject to teach would have to be English. And one of the reasons why is that we do write, the students write and produce their own film and that's a lot of fun. It's fun to watch them work. Well, I love the subject of history only because it's a story-based subject and I, everybody loves a good story. I think I like to tell a good story. I think I'm pretty good at storytelling and so I try to uh, make my history class teaching modeled after um, good storytelling. I've taught a variety of different subjects here, uh, you know, being my first year. I guess I'll just wait. This is my first year here, both ninth grade world, um, civics, U.S. history, and capstone. I did enjoy capstone last year in large part because of the class I had too, which made it um, you know, challenging, but yet it was certain dynamic and fun. But uh, if you can say this about a subject, the love of my life would be the U.S. history class. 
My favorite class to teach. That's a hard one because there are great things about all the classes to teach. Um, my ECE classes are great because I have very motivated students who are ready to learn and ready to kind of discover the different um, things about math that are going to let them get to the next level in their science classes. Um, and I really like teaching my pre-calculus class because it lays a foundation for those kids who do want to move on to higher level mathematics. What is your favorite part about this school? Um, my favorite part about the school is that it's more geared towards the career I've taken life. So most likely I want to be a computer and software engineer and being at the School of IT helps me. My favorite part about biotech is that there are a lot of animals here, so you can go and view the animals, especially if you're interested in like anything to do with animals, as in my college. Um, and it's really interesting to interact with them and everything. Um, my favorite part about the school is that since I'm in the IT program, I get hands-on work on um, like computers and making websites and also I get to use like the green screen room and that's something that I'm really interested in and I want to pursue for college. So this experience has been very interesting for me. I've been really blessed to be able to come to a school that you know has so many uh, not only talented people but has been given so many opportunities, has all this equipment and to be able to grow. So it's been really cool. Um, my experience here has actually been very beneficial for me because Coming into Fairchild, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but with all the different experiences and different opportunities that Fairchild gives me, I was able to find that, what I like to do within those four years I've been here. Um, I think one of the most challenging things that I've uh, experienced is working with students who come with a mindset that they have a, a certain limit in their intelligence and in their abilities, and working with them to motivate them to move on to a higher level, having them believe that they can achieve more. I would have to say uh, shooting on location on the school uh, grounds and having different groups in different parts of the building at the same time can be a little bit challenging. The most challenging experience is it's, it's really it's, it's a benefit and a curse also because there's a, such a great mix of students here um, that there's a period of time that um, getting them together and getting them to work together um, and lose the shyness of working with students and people from other backgrounds. But once you get to that point, it becomes great afterwards. But getting to that point of people accepting one another and knowing that, yes, we have multiple backgrounds, but it ends up making us stronger. Uh, and getting to that point where you're looking past it ends up, and that ends up being a really, really challenging task. But the benefit's a huge payoff. How have you dealt with the challenge of you faced as a principal? Pretty much as they come along. Um, it's a very unique situation compared to being a principal at another uh, school as um, we are thematically based compared to other high schools where they have a common curriculum. So the challenges that we had was to develop a curriculum that would be unique to our school as well as interesting to ensure that all students are getting a well-rounded education that prepares them well for post-secondary education. How does the school environment differ from your past schools? Um, well, my old school, the teachers weren't as involved as the ones here, and they didn't really work with each individual student to um, like ask whether they understood what they were teaching. They just taught everybody everything like that they need to know, and they didn't like ask questions whether people didn't get it. In my old schools, we didn't have individual classes. For if you were advanced, you can go and take advanced classes here. But in my old schools, it was just like we had to take the same class, whether you were advanced or a little bit behind. So if people weren't able to exceed to their certain skill level. Okay, again, it's the filmmaking project, and one of the reasons that I enjoy it so much is because I get to see my kids work collaboratively. Even students that don't really know each other well, because of their levels of expertise in certain areas, they become friends and they work closely together. My favorite project has probably been, um, in the physics class, we do a rocket launch where we have a pressurized rocket that we use a, a water reaction mass. And you know, it's not just the fact that the kids um, kind of get to launch something into, into the air uh, that goes pretty high, but the major thing is that the kids build it, they conceive it, they learn how 
uh, a rocket works. They learn the physics of the forces involved with it, and they can explain it in a real-world scenario uh, in ways that, uh, that even impresses themselves. I talk with the magnet teachers who are engineering teachers, and I talk with the, ma the magnet teachers who are aerospace engineers, and we, um, we collaborate to find ways for kids to use the math that I'm teaching in my classes. In, uh, and how that math would be used in the field by real engineers. Multiple ways. One, of course, is the film pathway making the film. We've also used, uh, right now my kids are using GIMP. They wrote a narrative and they had to find a picture that matches their narrative and they had to adapt that picture somehow by using GIMP. They'll be using uh, Scratch in the future and just different parts of technology in communication. That's what Kassel is all about. It infuses everything that has to do with information technology. Everything from uh, using BlueJay to GIMP to uh, multimedia in working and building their capstone projects. So the last question we'll be asking is, what is one word to describe Fairchild Wheeler? Hmm. IT. Well, it's lit, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs>